Good afternoon, it's Marie here from Messy M Creations, creating today to inspire you um, and as you can see from the title, we are doing something Christmas, yay! So please say hi if you are with me live, it's fantastic, it's lovely to know that you are here with me and if you are on replay i love to know that you've also caught up so please say hi so i know you've caught up with my live videos so i am just playing catch up i'm slightly excited um i have a new product to show today oh and it's so gorgeous so i am gonna let you have a sneaky peek at something that's going to be in the new catalogue um, which will be going live on the 3rd of June they have arrived so if you do um, want to have a catalogue then please um, drop me a message and hi Jenny um, I'm just catching up on me uh, comments there um, so if you do need a new catalogue then um, please do let me uh, know via messenger or in the uh, live um, comments and I will make sure that I get one out to you so this is very exciting so just bear with while I catch up properly there we go finally my tablets behaving I do find if you're not using the hi Babsy um, if you're not using the app on a mobile device it really does play up so I am using watercolour pencils today because I have the extended colour range. So um, the colours I will be using today are um, Cherry Cobbler, Real Red, uh, Garden Green, Granny Apple Green and Early Espresso and Cajun Craze. So um, I have a challenge in a group I'm in to create Christmas from a non-Christmas set. So I have chosen free as a bird and the bird police can come after me if I want but they're going to be robins today so we are using the watercolour pencils um, to create there and because it's Christmas I will be using these um, star designer elements and a bit of real red ribbon and a sneaky new product that I'm not going to show you yet you've got to stick with me that's naughty of me isn't it but I'm sorry you've got to have a reason to stay haven't you um so anyway let's get going um and i'll give you the sneaky peek in a bit so um i have a little branch of birds that are going to become robins with my watercolor pencils so i am going to ink that and stamp it in soft suede forgotten what color i was using so ink that up with my soft suede and it's going to go at a jaunty little angle because I've got a greeting that I need to fit in. So I've chosen the greeting from the first frost stamp set. So my little birds are at a jaunty angle. So I'm going to put that out of the way. Otherwise, I'm going to stick my elbow in it or my fingers in it or something. So there's my little birds stamped. And my greeting when I stamp that is going to say, here's to a season filled with warmth, comfort and good cheer. Because um, that's the only Christmas one I have. All my Christmas stuff is... Um... Oh, <laughs> your shaker card's fighting back. Yeah, I have to say they, they can be a bit um, lively, can't they, at the best of times. Well, good luck with that. Um, so, yeah, so this is a greeting from First Frost because... Um, all my Christmas greetings are um, stashed away in a box. So um, I do have a separate box for all my Christmas stuff because it won't fit in my craft storage. So um, that's a confession of a crafter. So, so let's start with the watercolours and my little robins. So as I say, if, I've been studying my robins in my garden, so I do hope that I do them justice. So they are slightly brighter in the middle of their red. So I'm going to use the real red for um, the centre actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the browns sorry that was a quick quick change there so I'm going to use Cajun no I'm not 
<laughs> you gotta love it when I'm in one of my decisive moods. <laughs> when I keep changing my mind what I'm doing. I'm doing this, now I'm not. I'm doing something else. Anyway, right, I am doing, I have committed to a bit of early espresso around the edge of the bird. Um, you know, as we know, uh, what Stamping Up very kindly do is kind of add a bit of texture to stamps. Um, so that generally gives an indication of where it might be darker. So um, I'm just going to, where that texture is, just put a little bit of darker early espresso into that. My little robins in my garden, um, I think I think we've got two um, out there. So um, they love it when we're out in the garden and they come and be very curious because I think they've learned if we're out in the garden it means we're doing a bit of digging and we create a bit of lunch for them because we create a bit of disturbance that brings all the little buggies to the top for them. So I think they uh, see us as providing lunch and uh, come and be very curious when we're in the garden, which is fabulous. I do love to see them. So Robins aren't just for Christmas, but they do generally get associated with Christmas, don't they? So I thought that's how I'm going to create my little Christmas star. So I'm also putting a bit of early espresso on the branch, on some of the areas where there's a little bit of kind of marking and shading to create some darker areas. So these are my watercolour pencils. So we're colouring in and then we're going to add water as the name would suggest. So then I'm going to use my Cajun Craze as a slightly lighter brown. So just using a circular motion, popping that around Oh, just a look. What sort of colour? I don't think a robin has. I think his beak is quite a dark. Never noticed that they've got any other colour to their beak. But hey, the bird police aren't going to come after me if I don't do it exactly right. That's the joy of crafting and hand making. You can do things exactly as you want to. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a. Cajun craze around and then I will do their little red little red breasts. I was really challenged by this because my um the first set I thought to do for Christmas somebody else grabbed. Then I had the second set somebody else did and I thought, oh I've got to think again. And then I suddenly thought, ooh, I haven't seen it well, somebody better not have posted it already. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thought for a minute you were stalking me then, Babsy. You're stalking Jenny. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Can't beat a bit of crafty stalking. So I think with a little Robin's red breast, we have a little bit of a lighter, brighter red. So I'm going to use the real red kind of in the centre. I did have a quick practice, but I'm not entirely sure how this is going to come out, so we'll see. I'm just kind of playing, putting the darker colour in the centre. And I've stamped this onto my favourite um, shimmering, shimmery white paper which I do find is slightly better so what I'm then doing is adding a bit of the um, cherry cobbler around the outside so I am going to leave a little bit of white currently between the two because I'm going to hopefully get a blend between the two so as I say we'll see how it goes I think he needs a little bit more Cajun craze around his face there doesn't he that one I know people that are already making their Christmas cards anyway, so Christmas in May isn't necessarily a bad thing. The world's a bit crazy right now anyway, isn't it? So yeah, so hopefully nobody was put off by Christmas in the title of the uh, Facebook Live. 
So there you go, we've got a little bit of colour on there at the moment. So I am just going to then, so I've got my Aqua Painter um, with um, a little bit of water in. I've not wet it too much in the first instance, just run a little bit of water onto a tissue. So it is just damp, there's not a whole heap of colour. Uh, colour, that would be water. Um, and then I'm just going to go from the centre of the colour and pull it out to get the blend so when that's getting a little bit wet so I'm then going to come back in because I don't want that spreading too much and then I take it to a tissue just wipe it off and then I'm going to go into the brown but what I I mean they don't have an exact neat line so I think there needs to be a little bit of a kind of blending between the red of their breasts. How's that looking to you? Looks like a robin. I've no idea what sort of birds they are on that branch. But today they are robins. So I'm um, from the brown on this one coming from the edge bringing it in. So where I've got those darker bits just taking those into where I've got the uh, the lighter bits it's poetic license isn't it and then from the red I'm going to take it out towards that brown when I played a little bit that seemed to work oh hi Kim hope you're well just colouring in my little robins making a little Christmas card for a Facebook challenge so um, just having a little play around with my watercolour pencils which I absolutely love I told a friend earlier I was doing watercolour pencils she said I'm not watching I don't want to buy anything else at the moment I'm so charming <laughs> the one thing she hasn't got at the moment is watercolour pencils so she didn't want to uh, spend any more money at the moment <laughs> I think she's saving up for the new catalogue so but I was just like charmed I'm sure don't take it too personally hi Ali hope you're well so yeah just taking the brown around the edges into the centre And then from the red, I'm taking that from the centre out. And then kind of getting the two to blend around the edges. Do the robins don't have exact neat lines because they're made from feathers, aren't they? So, made from feathers? Robins aren't made from feathers, they're covered in feathers. I'm going to add a little bit more of the real red, I think, into the centre of those. Just to add a little bit of brightness. So we just pull that out a little bit. Oh, excuse me, but my nose. Oh, thanks, Babsy. I did have a quick play earlier, but it was a bit of an experiment. I do find the watercolour pencils are really easy to use, though. And now I've got both sets of colours. I've got a whole myriad to play with. Yeah, rather, rather like that. So there's a quick bit of colouring in of my robins and I'm just going to do a little bit of colouring on the branch so I just put that little bit of early espresso so I'm just going to pull that out along the branch so I just put that on the very darker area so I'm just going to pull that out so you can hopefully you can see it then gives a varied shading along there all. I 
just go along well your next experiment is um, watercolour pencils oh you'll love them they are fantastic so I'm just going to add a little bit of oh that pencil's alive granny apple green I wasn't sure what colours to do the flowers. So technically, when the robin's around, there aren't really any flowers, are there? So maybe I'll just leave them so that people don't really focus on them. <laughs> okay. There's no flowers around when well, there are flowers because our robins are very active right now. But if it's a Christmas card, oh, I suppose oh no, poinsettia doesn't go on a tree like that, does it? I had to I had to give up on my poinsettia, poinsettia the other day. Someone gave it to me and I just I'm not good. If if you're gonna buy me flowers, just buy me flowers, don't buy me plants. I kill anything indoors. Or if you want to buy me a plant, buy me one that goes in my garden. They're great out in the garden. I'm just terrible at keeping indoor plants. I just they either get completely forgotten about or they get drowned in water, so Although unfortunately with the frosts our um, grapevine that grows over our pergola was doing fantastically and it's gotten a bit gnarled by the frosts unfortunately. So we've got some leaves that will probably fall off but it will recover. So just making sure I haven't got any of the red or brown left on my brush and I'm just going to take those green leaves out. So I just did a little mixture of Granny apple green and the garden green. Just kind of generally giving a bit of a shush around of that. That's a technical term. Oops. So you're hanging on for bated breath now to see what I'm actually going to show you from the new catalogue. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Oh, just like going, Marie, just hurry up and show me. I won't keep you waiting for too long. Just build up the excitement. So, yeah, so there's my little robins coloured in and my little green leaves. And somewhere, there we have it, I have a real red. This is, this is where... I get paranoid when I'm stamping directly onto a card when I've already done that work. If this goes wrong, I'm going to be very upset. All right, fingers crossed for a good clean stamp. Oh, yay! Um, it's a little real red greeting there. So it's quite a simple card. The only addition I'm going to make to that is some of these beautiful um, star designer elements. And I've got my take your pick tool, so it has a pointy end on one end. And I'm just going to pop a couple of little stars. That makes it Christmassy, doesn't it? I'm going to pop one there. One. Mm. There? No, there. And an extra one in that little corner there. So I think three little... Christmassy stars. As I say, that's a that's a carryover line from last Christmas. Those beautiful stars. So I had a few left, so I can do that. Um, and um, the double stitch satin real red ribbon is also a carryover. Um, so we're just um, going to see what we do with that. Um, I have. Oh, actually, I might have just messed that up for myself. I did mess it up for myself. Right, if you're going to use the trio punch, trio punch your corner off before you put your embellishment on. Luckily, I've got a slightly smaller old one so I can still cut my corner off. I just have a thing about cutting a single corner off. Don't ask me why. So, are you ready? I have a cream card base, a very vanilla. I have a bit of real red for that to get mounted onto. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It just makes it Christmassy, doesn't it? Oh, I need to... That's 
an old punch so that's not let me just get me oh excuse me while I move the tablet to just neaten that off so that is going to get to oh, I'll stick stick that onto there right now what's that oh normally like 110 snails on my desk couldn't find one then so just literally and then I am gonna mount oh he got that upside down in all my excitement and this is then gonna get mounted on the new brass foil which is absolutely stunning I am also gonna put a bit of real red ribbon so I'm not 100% sure where that's going to lay across um, but I have because the brass foil is so gorgeous and it is just going to be a background I have cut out an extra bit now just look it's like a mirror you can see me in it oh, didn't think of that one <laughs> you can also see my phone it's just absolutely stunning the colour is just beautiful so that arrived so that is brass foil it is 475 for two sheets um hence i am cutting out the middle because why waste that gorgeous product behind that base when we don't need to and then i just thought what might be quite nice would be just to lay a little bit of ribbon so i'm going to wrap that ribbon around I'm just going to put that but oh I was just so excited by this uh, I mean the all our foils are gorgeous but this brass I just was like oh gotta have gotta have gotta have so I have and it's just arrived and it's beautiful although I've got a funny feeling it might so Jenny said it might be out of stock currently I might be wrong but it'll be back it'll be back so there we go i'm just wrapping my little bit of ribbon around like that and then i am going to just add my snail and so if you're doing using something as beautiful as this as a background there is just no point in using a whole piece on a card when you're not going to see three quarters of it so that is going to go on to there and that's then going to sit on there so as i've got a little bit of depth i might actually use a wet glue to stick that on just to make sure that we get that stuck in the middle so just wet glue all over the place and then obviously the benefit of wet glue is it just gives you a little bit of wriggle room if you need it once you've popped your card on um, but look, just, oh, just so, say so it's almost like a mirror. Look, you can see me in it. <laughs> see, what's, thank God the ceiling's not got any cobwebs on it. But yeah, it's just stunning and the colour is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, just get this to stick down with my wet glue and then we have a Christmas card. And Marie's, oh, just, I might not, oh, not glued that corner. That was clever, wasn't it? In my excitement for brass foils, I say, all, I mean, all our foils are beautiful. But the brass is just especially gorgeous. I think, I think I didn't glue any of my corners in my excitement. See, look, now I've put, let's just get rid of that bit of glue from there. Get that, get away. Sticky fingers. See, look now. Now it's too close. So this is why I don't go to the edges because now I've got gluey fingers. Anyway, so we have gluey fingers. We'll just get rid of that excess glue, and so that brass around. Oh, that's not very straight, is it? Um. So yeah, that brass foil is just absolutely stunning, and those stars. So. They got quite pleased with those little robins. Quite cute. They might just need their beaks. Colouring in. Do I colour in the flowers? I won't colour them in now. But obviously you can make your decision whether you colour the flowers in or not. Oh, I need to get my little... Oh, where's my 
glue eraser. So, you're as excited as I am about that brass foil. It's beautiful. I'll just need to polish it to get rid of that glue now. So just be careful when you glue it. I'll sort that out off off camera. But these um, adhesive pickup squares are brilliant when you do get adhesive on things. But it is very shiny and gorgeous, the brass paper. So there we go. Christmas in May. So thanks very much for joining me and I look for, what day is it today? Uh, Thursday. So live at one tomorrow. So hopefully um, I will see you again then. Um, and thank you very much for joining me, um, whether you are live or on catch up. I really do appreciate it. So thank you very much and I will see you again soon. Take care. Goodbye.